What up, y'all? It's KP, the sports chick. So I'm about to go in, but I just want to give a special shout out to my girl, number one uh, LeBron fan. What's up, girl? I'm not going in on LeBron. I just want to preface that. I just, you know, I care about you. That's my girl right again. So I'm not going in on LeBron. She will go hard if you do, y'all. I'm just letting you know. So I say that to say, I'm, I'm sorry. First take is playing in the background. I just heard that <laughs> LeBron, Kyrie, and um, Kevin Love are sitting out tonight's game against Memphis. And it was Coach Lou's decision to do that. <laughs> now, I know that probably LeBron agreed with the decision, but at the end of the day, it was Coach's, like, it was his idea to sit them out on a night. <clears throat> well, here's the thing. I, at the very top of my mind, is, in my mind, it's disrespectful for Coach to sit out three of the m most popular players on the Cavaliers um, because they won the rest when what I said in, the, in my other video about um, LeBron sitting out, when people want to see LeBron, LeBron is the greatest player in the world. And they want to, you know, Memphis wants to see a player of his caliber when they otherwise can't. They can't see LeBron play every night unless it's nationally, like on TNT or ESPN or ABC once they come back after Christmas. So, or we just have to watch <coughs> the highlights. We can't watch actual games. So, I mean, unless you're in Ohio, you know what I'm saying? So, it just, it, it, to me, it feels a little bit disrespectful because it's, it, if I'm paying tickets, there should be some stipulation if a player arrests then I should, there should be some way around getting their money back or, because I guarantee you some of, a large amount of people are going to that Memphis game tonight to see LeBron. I guarantee it. I've gone to Rockets games in the past. The first time LeBron was with Cleveland just to see LeBron for my birthday. So, and he was there. So, <laughs> I mean, obviously he was younger. So, I just... I'm venting towards the coach, not so much LeBron or Kyrie or Love, but the thing is they're not even making the trip to Memphis. They're not even going to be in Memphis. They're going to be wherever they are right now, or <laughs> maybe or maybe not. So, and then, and then the other thing is how is this conducive to team synergy? Is it, you know, it's like, okay, well, Kevin Love, we need to sit out Kevin, we need to sit out Kyrie, we need to sit out LeBron. And how do you think the morale of the rest of the team is? And and if I'm I'm now I'm putting myself in the position as a Cavaliers fan. It's like okay, do they think that the rest of the team is not as important? And I would I would be concerned about the fact that like what if the other players are not down with that? It's very similar in a way to the Rockets last year when <laughs> the team synergy was way off. Everybody you could tell nobody was getting along really except for like one or two people in the Rockets. And so it translated to the court, and you saw the disaster of the season that they had. And I, I can only think that because the Cavaliers won the championship last year that they were men more mentally tough, obviously. But something like this, I would feel like, is a little bit disrespectful to the rest of the players on the team who do have to travel and who do have to play because they probably think that, well, okay, well, I'm not as important to the team or – um, the rest isn't is as important to me. Now, I'm not talking about the rookies or any of the really young cats on the team. I'm talking about established players like Richard Jefferson and people like that. So, <laughs> what do you guys think? Um, do you think it's just, like Stephen A. says, disrespectful? Or do you think he's doing the right thing and why is everybody tripping? And, you know, let me know. Leave the comments on YouTube. Always hit me up at sportschick.com. You can leave comments in other various social media outlets as well. I'm also on Facebook at KP the Sportschick. You can leave comments there too, so check me out.